Hi, hi, Shetler's Pie. Welcome back to the channel. Right, so today's the day. I forgot to say greetings from the Philippines. Greetings from the Philippines. Right, so today's the day. It's the 500 pesos challenge. Can I live on 500 pesos today? Well, it's not can I, I will. I mean, that's my budget. <laughs> and I ain't intending to die, so yes. 500 pesos today. Um, this isn't gonna include my rent and all that. This is just spending money, you know? So take the rent out of it, insurance and all this. So don't be sending me messages saying, no, you're not. Injured. This is just spending money. This is the money I'm gonna spend from now. The time is uh, 10 past eight until I go to bed. So, uh, yeah. I'm a bit wary, a bit trepidation, because I'm thinking, uh, can I do it? Well, I'll have to do it, won't I? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but uh, is it gonna be a struggle? I don't think it is. But anyway, only one way to find out. So uh, I'm gonna say, uh, I'll stop the video now, and as and when throughout the day I uh, spend some money, I'll uh, whack the camera back on. So, uh, yeah, 500 peso challenge, let's do it. See you soon. Five minutes later. All right. Let's uh, see how the old uh, camera copes with the stairs. All right. Out onto the main streets of Sigulan for a spot of breakfast. What I tend to do is I always pop down to a little bakery down here. Uh, I get a couple of uh, sweet rolls for my breakfast. I'd be doing that whether I was doing a 500 peso day or not. It's amazing this place. There are only five pesos. I like these ones down here. They're just my cup of tea, they are. I think everything's five pesos, to be honest with you. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, either way, it's good value. counting money or something so I ain't getting served here but uh, I'll give it another minute I might go run across the road but anyway this is the old uh, the neighborhood where I live at the moment not exactly the uh, <laughs> best area in town but it does mean right now I'm going somewhere else that's the end of that then I don't think she wanted to be on the camera, I don't care. Fuck that. There we go. Anyway, I'll try over here. I've not been here before, but I'm sure it's all right. I'm sure it's all right. It's funny that place. I go there nearly every day. First time they've ever been funny about that. Then again, it's the first time I've taken the camera out. <laughs> I think I'll have two of these on the same. In fact, they've got more of a selection here than they did in the other place. Hiya, can I get two of those, please? Yeah, sure. These ones. Perfect, yeah, two of those. Now yeah, that's it, just, just that, that's, that's great, thank you. Eight pesos. Eight, thank you. Thanks. And that's amazing because that's um that's, that's that's two pesos cheaper than the place that I bought. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye. Right, well, folks. That's um that's my breakfast sorted. I'm going to uh, take these back to the apartment. I'm going to have them with a nice cup of coffee. I ain't never going back to that place over there. I don't know what her problem was, I tell you. I go there every day, you've got a smile. I don't think she'd even seen the camera, she was just too busy uh, counting her money. So anyway, sod that. 
Right. I will uh knock the old camera off now and I'll uh, see you again very shortly. Five minutes later. Right then. here we are back in the apartment. Just got back in, I'm gonna have my breakfast. Now I work this out, it comes to 20 pesos, which is probably about, I don't know, 25 pence. I'd have to work out in, in cents. If I can be bothered, I might you know, do a uh, some text on the old video. But anyway, this is what I've got. Nice, um, actually I'll pan the camera down. Probably easier. Got a couple of those nice pastries, which came with a grand total of eight pesos, which is uh, incredibly cheap, whichever way you look at it. I bought the watermelon yesterday. Um, let's just say five pesos for that. I mean, that probably cost less than that. And on the old coffee front, You can't beat these. Well, you can beat these actually because there's loads of them. You can get like the cappuccino ones, or you can get. Um, I like these white caramels. I like the cappuccinos. They're in a brown uh, packet, but I didn't have any when I went to uh, the shop yesterday. Um, it's amazing how many you get. And these total seven pesos. Or if you buy a pack of ten, I think they work out about six pesos. So, and they're lovely. I mean, I will tell you what, it's like the cost of coffee. These are. I love them, I really do. I thought they looked like a bit tacky and cheap when I first tried them. I thought they're gonna be bloody horrible, like the old three and ones, I don't like them at all, but those are really nice. And I got my neighbours on to them now, a Canadian guy, like I introduced him to them a couple of weeks ago, and now he's like, he, he's got every variety in the world in his drawers, he, he can't get enough of them. So there we are, let's try one of these. Eight pesos. That silly old Doris down there didn't want to talk to me. She charges five pesos for us, so I saved two pesos just by going across the street. And I'll be a millionaire by Christmas. They're nicer than the ones uh, downstairs as well. I'll go across the road from now on. Right, well, so there we are. 20 pesos for breakfast, which leaves quite a bit for the rest of the day. Um, you ain't gonna sit there and want to watch me eat all this crap. So uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna switch the camera off, I'm gonna have my breakfast. Then I'm probably gonna get a haircut and a bit of lunch. Obviously, I'll, uh, we'll come back for that. See you in a bit, wait. Three hours later. Right, here we go. Off on the road again. It's a miserable today, day. Raining and raining and raining and raining. And it's a 500 peso day, so I'm staying local today, fellas. I wasn't gonna go into uh, town anyway, but uh, with this rain, it's no good. No good, can't carry an umbrella and a selfie stick. Mind you, my camera might not overheat. Right, gonna get some lunch now, or I'm gonna get my hair cut. Because what I'm gonna do for lunch is I'm gonna go to Krispy King, which is a personal favorite of mine. It's like their equivalent to the KFC. But sometimes when you get in there, you gotta wait for the chicken to get cooked, and that can be a real, uh, can take a long time. So if they've got some chicken now, I'm gonna get it. If not happen, I'm gonna get my hair cut and get the chicken afterwards. Oh, they've got chicken. They've got chicken. That's good, they've got chicken. They've got chicken. I'm gonna take it back up to the apartment though. But uh, why not? How you doing, all right? Can I get two pieces of chicken, please? And one rice. Three pieces, sir. Sorry? Three? Two, 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 yeah. Yeah, and can I get some gravy as well, please? Thank you. They get the money out. Now, I already know this is going to cost 90 pesos because that's what it always costs. Because I'm here all the time. Okay. Thank you very much. That's what it's like in here. But I'm, uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and have it in the apartment. Hey, hi. How you doing, all right? Good, good, good. 
Thanks a lot. Right. So it's uh, yeah, it's back to the uh, So that was that. That was a local beggar I was trying to avoid then. So uh we'll head back to the apartment now. Like I told ya, I really ain't living in the uh, Beverly Hills here, lads. It's um, it's comfortable, but uh, as you can see, it ain't the best area. Anyway, I'm gonna knock the camera off now because it's uh, difficult walking up the stairs. And um, five minutes later. Right, welcome back. I'm uh, back in the apartment now. I was gonna. The trouble I've got is I'm trying to make these videos, but it's a bloody music. Everywhere you go is either music or road music, so um, sometimes I have to check in downstairs. I usually have to check in in the restaurant because I'm filming today. I didn't want it to be too noisy, and I didn't, I didn't want them, you know what I mean? If they put music on and that, you know, it screws things up. So I, I've come back to the apartment for my uh, lunch. Um, tonight, though, when I have my dinner, I'm going to go out for a place around the corner and have some Filipino food. Whether this counts as Filipino food, I do not know because it's it's a chain, it's a Filipino chain, crispy chicken, but it is like, you know, some fried chicken, I suppose. Anyway, I'll pan the camera down. That's not bad, is it? Pop the old gravy on the top. I love this gravy. Now, this came to the grand total of 90 pesos. Which in English money would be, I don't know, one pound, one pound twenty? I think something like that, one pound twenty-five? Not bad, is it? We've got a bit of the old obli obligatory, hot and spicy, uh, drop it in here, banana ketchup. I've fallen in love with this stuff. I really have fallen in love with this stuff. Alright, so, now, Oh, I can't get the camera up without bobbing it around too much. Bloody tripod. There we are. So, I'm going to wash this down with a Coke Zero. A big bottle of that. I'm trying to be as accurate as I can with this today, you know, in the old, uh, adding it all up. Big bottle of that, 65 pesos. You probably get, let's just say 10 pesos. Let's say, let's say this cup is 10 pesos. So, we'll round this meal off. 100 pesos with the drink and uh, we had 20 pesos for breakfast didn't we so out of our 500 pesos we um about the 120 mark which will leave 380. let's try some of this that's nice that's good chicken to be honest with you these 500 pesos is no hardship so far, because it's what I do anyway. You know what I mean? I, I would, uh, I would always go down, nearly always go down from the bakeries and get the kind of stuff I had this morning for breakfast. And I generally have this for lunch, or I might get some adobo and rice from one of the places. But I mean, this is kind of what I was doing a normal day. My expenses would probably be a lot greater than you, you know, because I mean, I go out tonight, I'd have a nice meal, but I can probably only have two beers. I don't think my budget's going to allow for more than that. Um, and a lot of times I don't have any beers, but I mean, I may, I may well, the point is like tonight, I mean, tonight's when I tend to eat better. Sometimes I'll get the old uh, bus in to uh, do Maggetti, and I'll have something to eat there in a nice restaurant, which is uh, out of my 500 pesos budget. But I mean, so far, 120 pesos, this is generally an average day for me. You know, you see me breakfast, see my lunch, so no hardship so far. Anyway, you don't want to watch me eat this. I mean, maybe some people do with the old food fetish, but uh, I can't stretch this without walking the table. I'm going to switch this off now. See you in a bit. One hour later. Hi, hi. I'm off again now. It's haircut time. Um, I'm a two minds whether to do this. It's still a damp, wet, rainy day. It hasn't stopped all day. Um, so there's not a lot I can do. So I'm going to turn the old camera around now. So why not uh, get a haircut? Um, the reason I'm uh, 
sound of it, a trepidation in the voices. I ain't sure if this guy's going to be any good. He's, uh, I feel sorry for him because he's uh, the closest barber to where I live and he's never got any customers. But you walk up a couple of hundred metres and uh, there's a couple of other barbers and they're always busy. So I'm thinking, why not give the old boy a bit of business? I've got a horrible feeling I'm going to regret this. I'll come out of a skinhead or something. But uh, anyway, let's see how it goes. Got to do something on a, uh, a rainy day. I think this is the uh, longest it's uh, rained since I've been here, to be honest with you. I've never really known a day like this. But uh, anyway. If you look around the neighbourhood. Oh, yeah, you cut. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Right. Just gonna. Uh... 20 minutes later. Well, I've just had the old air cut done. What do you reckon? Okay. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Hey. This is my mate Marvin. He's just done a fantastic job on the old uh, air. See you later, fellas. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, mate. Bye, bye, mate. See you Friday, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that um, that was that was actually a lot better than uh, than I thought it would be. He was a really nice bloke. He's given me the lowdown on uh, the best places to uh, go round here. Hold on a second. 20 minutes later. Yeah, just give me the lowdown on uh, all the best places to go. Now, what am I going to do now? I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take a wander back up here. And I'm going to get something to eat. And uh, I might get my dinner now. It's getting a bit uh, late. But that was a good... Uh, that was a good haircut, that was. Very happy with that. Very good. Now the problem I'm going to have here is uh, I know where I want to have my dinner but very often I go in here they got music on. Sometimes they do sometimes they don't. Which is obviously a problem when you're doing the old vlogging. And I'm quite keen to have some Filipino food tonight because it looks a bit dodgy on my old uh, 200 peso day if I'm just eating uh, Western crap the old time. So let's hope that it's um, open and let's hope they got no music on. I'm getting very wet here. Well, the good news is well I was going to go in there but I'm not because there's music playing so I can't which means uh, I'll have to come back later that's see that's always something puts a spanner in the works doesn't it always puts a spanner in the works so uh, I don't know what I'm going to do now, I'll have to wait, I'll give it another hour or so, I'll go angry for you guys, so you can uh, see me have my dinner, complete the 500 pesos challenge, but it's a right pain in the arse it is, this, um, this music and the YouTube not letting you play it, because uh, there's only like two or three places I can uh, eat in where I am here in Sibylan, unless I get the bus in the Dumaguete. Because there's lots of places you can get food at and take it back to the apartment or whatever, but that's not really good for a video if all I'm doing is going out and uh, getting a takeaway and uh, taking it back again. So hopefully, I'll pop down there later and the music won't be on. But if it is, not much I can do, I'm afraid.
It is what it is. I'll just get wet and keep walking up and down the street for no bloody reason. I suppose I could go back to Chick King and uh, Crispy King rather and have another meal in there, but uh, I don't want to do that. So anyway, I suppose one good thing about this rain is it uh, reduces the chance of my camera overheating because it's uh, this has got to be the coldest day I've had in the Philippines so far. Maybe I should uh, get a raincoat on and do a uh, long walk. Anyway, I'm going to uh, log off now because I'm back uh, at the apartment building Three and I'll catch you later. later. Aye aye, shepherd's pie. Well, I'm going to have to talk quite loud here because there's some bloke over there who keeps playing his music. But they aren't playing any music in the bar at the moment, so I'm hoping I will be able to uh, get my food over here and served in time for you to see it before that geezer over there starts playing his music really loud. I'm just glad I got the chance to come out, fellas, because it's um, this is the first time in a long time. Uh, well, it, it comes to food. I don't know why my camera's doing this, but uh, hopefully you'll get this all right. Thank you very much, that looks lovely. Thank you. So, here's the old uh, food. I've got a uh, chicken adobo um, and rice. And, hold on a second, get the old camera back up. The obligatory uh, red horse, which is uh, the only the only alcohol they sell in this place, so um, I'm stuck on it. I don't mind it because I quite like it. Now the old music's going on again, so I'm going to um, I'll probably switch the camera off. It stopped. Is it? No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is the last meal of the day, or well, probably the last meal of the day. And it's Filipino food. Got a nice bit of adobo. Some rice, a beer, and I'll work out what that's uh, cost me. I think this is going to be. It's nice, that. I think it's going to come to uh, 160 pesos, but we'll work all that out later. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this now, and I'll be back in a bit. And I hope this music will fuck things up. One right, hour guys. later. Like well, there you go. Back home now, and um, I'm a bit surprised really. This old uh, 500 uh, pesos challenge uh, wasn't a challenge. I mean, I'm not being, uh, I'm a bit amazed really, because I, I was a bit dubious going into it, so I'm thinking, you know, sometimes, you know, you're gonna wanna do something on a day. And it's usually the days when you don't think you're gonna wanna do something, that you wanna do it. And I'm thinking, it's 500 pesos day, I'm going to get the urge to do something or whatever and it's going to be a struggle to stay in budget but I've just picked up a beer on the way home from the restaurant where I had my dinner I had my chicken adobe and this cost me 45 pesos now I had a standard breakfast nice lunch reasonable dinner couple of beers even when you include a couple of coffees during the day, the old seven pesos, um, and a haircut, my grand total today was 380 pesos. Now I was tempted to go out and they do like a foot long hot dog around the corner in a place called Angel's Burgers, which is 56 pesos. And I was thinking, well, I'll go and get that just to get it up to the 500 mark. But why? I mean, the challenge was, could I live on 500 pesos in a day. And um, I have done easily. I mean, one white lie, I did spend more than that on the air cut. The air cut was 50 pesos, and I tipped him 50 pesos. Um, so if you added that on to the 380, that would be 430. But I haven't included that, because that's like, you know, that was an extra, I didn't need to do that. But obviously I'm not including my rent and accommodation, all that, 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 that that's all set, but that's a different budget. The point was, in terms of spending money, could I have a 500,000 peso, a 500 peso day, was that possible? And it was. I mean, you see what I've done. I had a haircut, 
I've eaten well, you know, a couple of beers. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I'm surprised, I'm surprised. I knew when I do the thousand peso challenge, when I do in a couple of days, I mean, that's not really a challenge. The point of that video is really to show how, uh, you know, well you can live on a thousand pesos a day. Because uh, I'll have some really nice meals. I'll go, I'll go and do Maggetti for that one. But, um, yeah, we've come to the end. I'm quite tired. I shall finish this beer. Maybe do a bit of surfing on YouTube. Maybe reply to a few comments on my channel. And I'll go to bed. And that's the end of the day. You know what I mean? 380 pesos, if you want to include the tip. 440 pesos. And it wasn't a grind. It was easy. If I hadn't been doing the challenge, that's what I'd have spent anyway. I can't think of anything I wanted to do today that would have taken the budget over. You know what I mean? I mean don't get me wrong, every day. My, my average day here, really, in the Philippines, if you work it out, is about, I don't know, about 1,500 pesos a day. That's on top of my rent now. That's, that's what I tend to spend. Because, I mean, some days I'll spend like 3,000. Other days I'll spend, you know, 500. It's like when you even it out over a month, it works out, I think, about 15. I don't, I don't really keep count. I mean, I've done it for this video. But, um, yeah, not a bind. The guy next door, I'm going to do a video with him at some stage, good mate of mine, CJ. He was telling me earlier on, he's uh, he, cause he's been working on his budget because he knows I'm going to do an interview and I want to interview him out. I know he lives cheaply and uh, he spent $700 this month. <laughs> and he's happy as Larry the way he lives. And that's including his rent. So that would be interesting to see how he's done that, because I, I couldn't do that, I couldn't do that. Um, and he's had a couple of nights out with me, you, you know, during the month, like, you know, we've gone into town a couple of times, so he's, he's, he's spent a couple of thousand those nights, I'm sure. But anyway, so I've got to do all the editing today, I've got to mash it all together, hopefully I'll get the video out quite soon, but I'm new to this editing game, but uh, yeah, what can I tell you? The 500 peso challenge has been done with 120 pesos to spend so there you go <laughs> I'm surprised um, anyway thanks for watching I won't wrap it on there's no point uh, if you like the channel subscribe um, I'm really happy with the, the support I'm getting at the moment I never thought the channel would know, get as many likes as as many subscriptions as I have like in the first month because we're basically a month old now the channel is um, uh, so thanks a lot for all the support and everything um, if you like the video like it subscribe would be great um, whatever you do, stay safe and be lucky. Thanks for watching.